The U.S. is waging war on multipolarity, according to an article linked up on Mark13news.com for February 18th, 2023. The article goes on to say the people of the world are living and dying with the consequences of the United States and its allies' stubborn refusal to join the path of multipolarity. But really, it's the Kenites on the unipolar end of the globalist spectrum who, for the most part, control the left-right paradigm, which is really Stalinism and Trotskyism symbolized by Ammon and Moab. This is why you see Edom, Ammon, and Moab listed together repeatedly throughout the Bible. Bible with Edom, which means red, being Russia of today geopolitically. Gog in Ezekiel chapter 38 being the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, meaning most likely Moscow and Tobolsk. And it's at this time the Ezekiel 38 Confederacy continues to formulate, as you can see in articles like why Iran's partnership with Russia endures, as well as Armenia, which is most likely to Gorma in Ezekiel 38, ready to normalize relations with Turkey, which is most likely Gomer. And at the woe of the fifth trumpet, the Ezekiel 38 Confederacy will become the bear of Daniel chapter 7 when Satan and his angels get cast to earth at the beginning of the five month long hour of temptation which is also when the lion of Daniel chapter 7 comes into being which is formulating at this time also as you can see from the article linked up on February 22nd on mark13news.com under the headline the Ukraine crisis has consolidated the West and the United States which is prophetically Manasseh is the current king of the south according to the Daniel 11 hypothesis on biblicalresearchlabs.com. But at the woe of the fifth trumpet, the lion of Daniel chapter 7 will become the king of the south, which will be made up of Ephraim, Judah, and Manasseh, Ephraim being the United Kingdom, including the British Commonwealth, which includes Canada and Australia, and Judah is Germany of today, which in my opinion will have become the leader of post-Brexit Europe by that time. So then Judah plus the rest of Europe, in other words, in the so-called New World Order that won't come into being until Satan and his angels get cast to earth at the woe of the fifth trumpet, because Daniel's fourth beast is exclusively supernatural. Until then, the two warring factions of Kenites will continue to exalt themselves to establish the vision as it's written in Daniel 11.14, meaning the vision of a one-world government, but they shall fall, and that word fall in the Hebrew in this case means to fail because even though they're trying to talk multipolarity and unipolarity into existence using the digital propaganda machine, which is the so-called news media, which is part of the hidden dynasty of education, there will be no new world order, as it's called, until Satan and his angels get cast to earth at the woe of the fifth trumpet, Daniel's fourth beast being the only one with the ten horns, which are ten fallen angel kings that will be cast to earth at that time, which is also when the he goes of Daniel chapter 8 becomes the leopard of Daniel chapter 7, which is symbolic of the Kenites and their four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion, providing the infrastructure for the one world political system written of in Revelation 13, which will also have feet as the feet of a bear and a mouth as the mouth of a lion, meaning the Ezekiel 38 confederacy, as well as the Christian nations up until just after the deadly wound to the one world political political system when Satan appears as the Antichrist at the woe of the sixth trumpet, which is when most Christians begin worshiping Satan instead of Christ, which is what Antichrist means. And that's why the three horns that symbolize Ephraim, Judah, and Manasseh will be plucked up by the roots at that time, as you can see in Daniel chapter 7, verse 8. Satan in his role of Antichrist being the little horn, little because he'll only have two and a half months as the false Christ or 70 evenings, which are what the 70 years in captivity to the Babylon of old were a type of.